Let's talk about your setup behind you, the wall. Let's talk about what do, what do these mean? What are the significance of everything behind you? <laughs> so obviously this one is a, is a map of the neighborhoods of Denver. And they've got names in each neighborhood. The only so, one I've ever been to is wherever the train station is. And I walked mm -hmm. around for a couple of blocks, but that's it. Yep. Yep. And that would be, I don't know what they would call that here. Let's see. Let me get my bearings. So Cap Hill, five points downtown. It'd be downtown. So that one up there. Okay. Uh, yeah. So that's, that's my Denver thing. That's my little nod to Denver. And then over my right shoulder, um, the larger photo would be the Model S drawing. And uh, this, is, this is what people received who put a reservation down for a Model S back in 2011 or so, 20, yeah, probably 2011, 2010. And then uh, the, the red one is the Roadster, the new Roadster, next-gen wow. Roadster. I received that when I went to the semi-truck event where they rolled the Roadster out of the back of the trailer of the semi-truck. So that's, that's, that's a little bit sentimental to me. And then the one that's the furthest down is the Model 3. That's what people received who put in an early reservation for Model 3, which, which I did. I, I never pulled the trigger on it, but it's a nice memento. I actually have a couple of other ones that um, I received from some friends uh, that, that uh, I just haven't, I haven't made the time to go get the frame from Ikea and put them up on the wall. So those pictures are original Tesla company drawings? Yeah. They're, they're not hand-drawn. They're copies of Tesla's drawings. Wow. But they're sort of limited edition because they're not producing those right now. I have the ones that are not up are, um, in fact, maybe I'll, I'll just go run and get them if you want to see them because I think it'd be <laughs> interesting. One sec. <laughs> So this is like exclusive content for your podcast. I mean, very few people have seen these things. Um, not, not that your, your audio listeners won't be able to tell, but I'm trying to do a good job at, at, at describing them. So this is the first one. Oh, wow. That's the, the it, oh, and, and my this is the Model X one. This is the one that, that reservation holders for Model X received. I'm trying to do it without the glare. So they're, they're, they're just artist renderings, probably... I don't know if they're done by Franz or not, but um, it's the artist rendering of, of the Model X, so real cool. Most people know Franz as the guy who threw the steel ball at the window. <laughs> what yeah. is his actual job? He's the, ch he's, the chief, he's the chief designer for Tesla, so he designed my Model S that I drive. But he, he designed all of these. Okay, okay. So he's more yep. than just a, a buff, burly man who throws steel balls right. and bulletproof. Right. <laughs> and I've never seen him not stylish, <laughs> too. He's, he's, he's always dressed stylish. Okay, so this one is uh, Model S and X artist drawing. Oh, wow. So it's, it's, it's kind of a mixture of what I've shown you already. Yeah. So you can see... Um, bottom right of this rendering, it's Franz 09. So he did this drawing in 09. I don't it know who the, the I don't know who did the the X, but it doesn't look like Franz's name. The Model S there looks a little, I don't know. It looks a little different. Maybe it's just the shading to me, or no, it's mm -hmm. the wheels. The wheels are so big. Yeah, typical for. So that should look similar to the one that's on the wall. Should look identical. Okay. Yeah. Oh, maybe it's just the shading then. It looks kind of like longer, mm -hmm. like a little bit stretched than the model S in yeah, real life. It might be bigger. I mean, oh no, not to the not to the other drawing, to the to the real life IRL. Yeah, yeah. There, there's some slight variations to it. 
Yeah, for sure. So exclusive content for your podcast right there. Well, I can I, I'm maybe put a screenshot up on the website. Still trying to figure that out, to be mm -hmm. honest, the whole website thing and the HTML mm -hmm. embeds. We built it on Google Sites so that mm -hmm. the next generation of officers or webmasters could actually do stuff with it without having to learn too much coding. The problem with Google Sites, it's also free hosting, which is great. You don't have to pay for annual hosting. And if you use a service like anchor.fm like we do, you don't have to pay for podcast hosting. They do distrib distribution and hosting automatically for free. But the problem with Google Sites is that it's really not customizable in any sort of way. I think we might have done it on uh, Blogger and had a lot more customizability. The problem with Blogger is that it takes a lot longer to actually do small tweaks and small edits. Because um, if, if you want to put, you know, wireframes in there, you have to go into the CSS suite and actually like do that. But the HTML embeds, the widgets, it's a lot easier to embed a widget in Blogger than it is in Google Sites, especially when you're when you're shrinking down to mobilized platform. What you have to do, if you go to our podcast page, when you're building that page, you have to stretch the bottom of the frame down almost twice the distance so it looks real ugly with the text so far down below the, the the widget but when you shrink down to the phone it looks like it's right below but on a desktop i and this is really deep i, I apologize for 